This is the Barbados Today afternoon news for Wednesday, June 28th. Thank you for joining us. I am Mary Claire Williams. Barbadians can expect cloudy and overcast conditions for much of today as a tropical wave affects the island. The forecast from the Barbados Met Office is for moderate to heavy showers and isolated thunderstorms. Winds east-southeast at 25 to 45 kilometers with higher gusts near showers. And sea slight to moderate in open water with swells from one and a quarter to two and a half meters. Meanwhile, the Director of Department of Emergency Management, Kerry Hines, is reminding the public to be prepared during this hurricane season. She was addressing a symposium for schools at the Queen's Park Steel Shed this morning, and she also lamented the lack of implementation of the National Schools Program on Hazard Awareness. The Department of Emergency Management has for some time implemented a National Schools Program which focuses on increasing hazard awareness among the island schools. In 2015, the BM completed and presented to the Ministry of Education a school's model emergency operation plan designed specifically for local school use. However, today many schools have not adopted the plan. This more still happen only a single habit plan. In other news, the head of the Barbados Drug Service, Marian Hines, is raising concern over the growing resistance to antibiotics. Addressing a public lecture last night at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center on prevention of resistance to the drugs, Hines said misuse of the medication makes them less effective and can result in death. The problem with antibiotics is that resistance is rising dangerously high in all parts of the world. There are new resistance mechanisms that are emerging and they're spreading globally. And this has been threatening our ability to treat common infectious diseases. A growing list of infections such as pneumonia, tuberculosis, blood poisoning, gonorrhea, and other sexually transmitted diseases are becoming harder and sometimes impossible to treat as antibiotics are becoming less effective. Antibiotic resistance is currently one of the biggest threats to global health, to food security, and to development. Antibiotic resistance can happen naturally without us doing anything, but the misuse of antibiotics in both humans and in animals will accelerate the process of the um, resistance. Antibiotic resistance can affect anyone. It has no respect for creed, color, age, sex, and any country. Without urgent action, we are heading for a post-antibiotic era in which common infections and minor injuries can once again cause death. The Barbados Association of Masqueraders is adding its voice to calls for a review of the controversial National Social Responsibility Levy. Effective July 1st, the levy will be increased from 2 to 10%. But a statement from BAM President Chetwin Stewart is calling on Finance Minister Chris Sinclair to rescind the tax, saying it would jeopardize crop over. Last month, the association secured a $50,000 increase in subventions from Culture Minister Stephen Lashley. But Stewart argues that it will now be difficult for them to meet the expected increase in, sub in the prices of supplies. According to him, the tax will not only affect the importation of all costume materials, but almost every aspect of producing a band as all the inputs are imported. There's regional and international news after this short break. Good morning, Phillips and Company may help. Oh, certainly one moment, please. Miss Phillips, yeah. there's a lady on the line from the nation newspaper who would like to speak with you. The nation? Wish you could want. Well, they're trying to sell us some ads. <laughs> Don't make me laugh this morning. Ads in the nation? They're real expensive, and for one here, nobody ain't buying them papers no more. Nobody ain't want to steal news. I hear reading Barbados today online for free. So I tell she thanks for calling, but no thanks. We just advertise in Barbados today, families. Tell she is Barbados today. All the way. Okay, I'll pass on the message. Mom, are you still there? Oh, she she does she put down. The Barbados Today news you can trust.
Thank you for staying with us. We are back now with news from the region. St. Lucia's Gender Relations Minister, Dr. Gail Rigobert, is planning a review of legislation addressing domestic abuse and pornographic material. Rigobert told reporters in Castries that the current laws are outdated. Reports say almost half of the homicides so far this year are domestic violence related, and authorities have been investigating several videos containing pornographic material involving young people. We get the details in this report from HDS News Force. Prior to last Tuesday's house sitting, Rigobert disclosed to the media that she recently met with the Attorney General, Acting Commissioner of Police, and the National Security Minister to discuss legislation on domestic violence. That legislation dates back to the early 1990s and so we have flagged it as one of the pieces of legislation in urgent need of review. We also recognize given the circulation of, of recent pornographic pieces, especially involving young people, that we ought to assess the extent to which our laws adequately allow for us to respond to those kinds of incidents. Dr. Rigobert plans to conduct a comprehensive review of laws on sexual assault crimes. While in our position, when you hear of those ugly incidents, the, the instinctive reaction is one of outrage and disgust. When in government, what I have done and what one is expected to do, given the seat that one now occupies, is to ask for a comprehensive review of all the legislation that speaks to issues of domestic violence and that speak to issues regarding inappropriate sexual behavior. The Gender Relations Minister urges St. Lucians to take a page from other civil society organizations and adopt a zero-tolerance attitude towards domestic violence. Further afield, rising tensions in Venezuela after a police helicopter attacked the Supreme Court and a government ministry yesterday. The aircraft fired 15 shots at the Interior Ministry, where scores of people were at a social event. It also dropped grenades on the court, where judges were meeting, but there were no reports of injuries. We get more in this Reuters report. Chaos in Venezuela's capital, Caracas, on Tuesday. A police helicopter circling the city, firing shots at the Interior Ministry and dropping four grenades on the Supreme Court. <laughs> President Nicolas Maduro says the attack is part of an attempted coup, ratcheting up the country's violent political crisis. I have activated the National Armed Forces and I am sure that sooner or later we will capture those who have launched this armed terrorist attack against the institutions of our country. The government says the helicopter was stolen by police pilot Oscar Perez. A video uploaded to his social media account around the same time saying an operation is underway to restore democracy. Venezuelans, dear brothers, we do not speak for the state. We are a group of military officials, police and civilians in the search for balance against this criminal government. The attack came as drama at Venezuela's National Assembly, where two dozen lawmakers say they were mobbed by pro-government gangs. Maduro has faced three months of protest by an opposition that's branded him a dictator and accused him of wrecking the economy. The violent unrest has so far left at least 75 people dead and hundreds injured. That's news this afternoon. There's more on our website, www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can find us also on Izumi Media in bus terminals and screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. And we are on Mix 96.9 FM if you're looking for more news. I am Marie Claire Williams. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>